Tonight, from our Call 6 investigators, it's a new attempt in the State House to protect people who want to help someone undergoing a heroin overdose. As our team has shown you, the drug is taking a serious toll on Hoosier families and public safety. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez joins us live in the newsroom now with the very latest. Rafael. Uh, Todd, good evening. This is all about empowering families and friends to do the right thing without fear of facing criminal charges or going to jail. Narcan, as you know, is a shot or a nasal spray that can counter a heroin overdose. So today, Senate Bill 406 was filed in the State House. Senator Jim Merritt of Indianapolis, his plan would allow for family or friends to administer Narcan's prescription if they believe the person is at risk of an opiate overdose. The bill would also extend immunity for criminal and civil liability to a doctor who dispenses a dose of Narcan in good faith. What makes you think it's an overdose? What happened? Um, he did... Heroin. Heroin overdoses and the calls for help. In a majority of cases, Indianapolis EMS dispensed a shot of Narcan to keep the person alive. Dominique Levesque supports a proposal in the State House that could make Narcan more accessible. The nurse practitioner says the life saving drug should not be feared since it's not a controlled substance. To have it in my hands or in a family member's hands or even an addict's hands so if their friend is ODing they can save their life. There's really no reason not to have this available to the public. She's working with a doctor to create a kit just like this complete with instructions for people who get a prescription for Narcan. She showed us this other product that actually walks you through the process of delivering a dose of Narcan. To inject, place black end against outer thigh, then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Injection complete. So this will talk you through it so that you have a little bit more direction on which way to go. You can't make that many mistakes by using this. Dominique's son is alive because of a dose of Narcan, and she'll st she is still working with that doctor on those Narcan project kits. Now, Senator Merritt will be our guest this Sunday on Indianapolis This Week. The conversation begins at 8.30 Sunday morning right here on RTV6. Live in the newsroom, Rafael Sanchez. Now back to you.